for each exam in this class, you're going to want to make sure that when appropriate, you're showing all necessary work to solve a problem. Now keep in mind, some questions won't require you to demonstrate any work. For instance, if a question is just having you look at a graph to answer some questions about limits or continuity, there might not be any work to show. You're simply looking at that graph and trying to determine, for instance, what's happening around x equals negative 1. So you, maybe you're looking at the limits from both sides. A question like that won't require any specific work to be shown. But when you get into problems where you're asked to solve thing, evaluate limits more algebraically without looking at a graph, for instance, if we're asked what happens as x approaches infinity for a function like x squared plus 3x minus 4 over x, if you were to simply put the answer as infinity, while you'd be correct in this case, you would probably lose all points for that problem. What I want you to be sure to demonstrate are the techniques of calculus that we've looked at this semester to show how you would manipulate that problem and justify that infinity should in fact be that result. So one way to think of it is, it's your job to make sure I know that you're not just guessing, that that's either infinity, negative infinity, or some other result. So for instance, what you would want to show is that we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared over x, since that's what this looks like when we get rid of everything except for that leading term, which becomes the limit as x approaches infinity of x, which heads off to infinity because we're plugging in larger and larger values for x. So keep in mind that idea of making sure you're showing enough work to justify that you came to that conclusion. If you're not showing that work, then again, you'll most likely lose those points. So the testing assistant will give you scratch paper. You'll just want to make sure that you're clearly numbering problems as you go. Um, the easier you make it for me to see your work, to grade that, the easier it'll be for me to award you partial credit. So for instance, if you made <clears throat> a small mistake here, like let's say you crossed out the x cubed and the x, and here you accidentally wrote this as x squared over x, which would then make this the limit as x approaches infinity of 1, and you would get a limit of 1. So there I could tell that this is probably a, a more minor mistake versus not knowing how to work the problem at all. So the clearer you show your work, the better it's numbered and organized, the easier it's going to be for me to award partial credit. If your work is scattered or steps are missing, it's going to be difficult for me to justify or verify that you knew how to work that problem using the techniques of this course, which, again, will likely result in you losing some or even potentially all of the points for that problem. We also had some questions that dealt with constructing sign charts for a function to solve some inequality problems, where you would, for that given function, determine where it has zeros or where it maybe has points where it's undefined, and then you would fill in the results of positive, negative, in between. So for those sign chart problems, and it'll say specifically in the question, use a sign chart to solve this problem, you'll want to make sure that you are showing that sign chart and showing that, excuse me, showing that rationale for how you came up with your solution. Um, so similarly is a problem where we're taking, or we're trying to evaluate the derivative of a function using the definition. You need to know that definition and be able to apply it. So show the steps of the substitutions for the function, show the factoring and cancellations that lead you to your final result. So I'm going to say it one more time just because I unfortunately get students from time to time each semester who don't show enough work, end up losing points, and as a result obviously, obviously are a little frustrated. But this is your fair warning that failure to show work will definitely mean a loss of points potentially all points. So what you want to do is, again, just make sure that you are demonstrating all of the steps to show how you got from the initial problem to your solution. The clearer you can make it for me to follow your work, the easier it is for me to verify that you knew how to solve that problem. Great, absolutely no points taken off. Or if you do make a minor mistake along the way, I can award partial credit for those to improve your overall score.